Good afternoon and welcome to my shop. This is Bruce again after a long period that you haven't seen me. Um, but uh, we won't dwell on that. We'll, we'll go into that at another time. What we've got is we've set up the Kearns um, horizontal boring machine to remachine the um, uh, two ODs on uh, 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 stator housing. The, when the, um, the, sta the stators were a little bit oversized apparently and when they were the housing was uh, heated up and the um, uh, stator fitted in then uh, and afterwards then we found there was a stretch so we've had to we've got to machine these two down we've got one on the bench and one I've set up on the bur on the um, on the curds so we'll walk through that quickly on uh, on the how we're going about this and we might run it a little bit so here we have the stator housing in the state of housing, we've set it up on a, on a large angle block um, and uh, we've made up here, let's see if we can see it there, we've, we've made up um, an adapter to fit in the nose of the, uh, the adjusting uh, <coughs> chuck and, um, and we're using our boring, bar, boring bars from the, our uh, automatic boring head, um, boring and, and uh, facing head and uh, the Narex, the large one. And I've added a little bit of a counterweight on here. We're running it on, on low speed. Um, we're geared down to 45 uh, RPM. And in fact, we're running on about 40%, um, 40 hertz. Um, and we're, we're slowly cutting that. And I'll show you here the operation live center on the saddle. Um, so, so here we have the, tra the, the cross traverse and that's locked, there's a lock here that's locked up, it's, in, it's all centred and lined up. Um, and we have it engaged, the engagement uh, unit is over the other side there, down here. Uh, it's engaged for, for feed, but we're not using the auto feed because the auto feed is too fast because we're running quite slow. Um, the, the main hand wheel, the, the coarse hand wheel we're not using and what we're using is the fine hand wheel and this one here we can turn it uh, and we've got markings here for per thou but I'm doing it by hand uh, to feed it and I'm just moving it a little bit for every turn of the, the cutter. Um, and if we move up, up here we've got the control centre. Um, in the control center that we've, we've mounted on the Kearns, uh, stop start, emergency, rheostat, um, and the controller for the, uh, for the unit inside, and our, um, our, measuring, our electronic measuring stick. Um, now, what we also do is, we'll swing back here a second, yeah, so the way this works, this, this facing chuck can it's got an adjusting slider. We've set that to the cut and we can also adjust for every cut. Now we're, I've, we're going to adjust it up now five thou uh, inboard um, and the way we do that is with a hand wheel at the back that drives a gear in the head and, that, and we can adjust this. This can also run automatically uh, for facing work. So we'll just move the camera around the back for a second and I'll show you how that works. Uh, here we have it. Now this little wheel here is, um, has got marks uh, for stampings on every five thou and it's got marks for every thou. And we use this hand wheel here to, uh, to manually shift that uh, head out. Um, we can, this is the automatic setting which we're not using at the minute. So we'll turn that round, uh, we're on 20 thou there, we're going to turn that around to 25 thou and that's the cut we're going to run. So we'll move it over here now and we'll get it started and you'll be able to see the cutter in action. All set up. We're running this in reverse. That's just the orientation of this cutter. Um, so we'll get started. And we're running with this hand wheel. Um, 
and we can't see, we can maybe run that, drop that down a bit, you'll be able to see the hand wheel in action as well. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. And so we've, you know, what I've done, I'm just advancing this. Until we engage. Pretty well on the limit with our with that particular bar. Um, a bit of chatter there, but that'll pick up. And this is going to be a bit of kerosene. A bit of kerosene might help. I might just have to speed her up a bit. got here is this um, this curve is doing similar type of work to what it was designed for um, and what it did maybe not aluminium I don't know it's cast iron but what it did in the, in the automotive factory uh, production factory in its earlier life investigate that maybe I can make a little bit of adjustment here and cut out that chatter and uh, we'll be back <laughs> 